All right, so I'm down in my basement right now and I just wanna share another one of my projects with you. So right there, we have some beautiful, healthy looking oyster mushrooms. And they're growing out of a five gallon bucket with some straw in it uh, down in my basement. Um, so what I wanted to share in this video is really that you don't need uh, you know, a big farm to be able to do this. Um, you can do it inside your house, you can do it on a balcony, um, you can do it outside if you have a large amount of land. But an amazing thing about oysters is you can actually grow a significant amount of food in a very small space uh, with very little uh, time even invested. It's not a ton of work. Um, so these are literally just sitting on the floor in my basement and I've got an awesome source of food here that's reoccurring. Uh, I love throwing them in my omelets. I'm gonna go fry these up right now. So. When I was a kid, I used to dream about what it would be like to be self-reliant and to live off the land. And I meet people all the time that share this dream with me. Uh, jump ahead quite a number of years, 20 plus years, I've actually learned quite a bit about this. And this video series is sharing some of the things I've learned over the years about being more self-reliant. So how do you actually make this a reality? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. And that's learning how to grow mushrooms. And these are shiitake mushrooms. And there's a reason why I think these should be one of the top skill sets to learn. One is they're very energy efficient. They're a perennial crop. So once I create them, this one log will produce mushrooms for four to eight years with very minimal upkeep. So that means year one, I put in work, year two, three, four, five, six, very little work and they harvest a lot of food. Number two is the first harvest usually comes up quite early in the season. So it's May right now. There's very few things coming up with my garden. The only other thing coming up is asparagus right now and these mushrooms are already ready to eat. So in the spring, when there's little other food around, uh, these become a great edible food source. Number three is that mushrooms are actually way more nutrient dense than people actually think. Mushrooms have proteins, they have all kinds of micronutrients, they even have vitamins like vitamin D in them, and mushrooms are quite uh, medicinal as well. There's a ton of research going on right now uh, as mushrooms is antibacterial, antiviral, and even anti-cancer, anti-tumor agents. So check out some of that research. Number four is that they preserve and they store really well. So any survival food is something that you actually want to be able to create in an abundance, so grow lots of it easily in a small amount of space. And you also wanna be able to store it for those lean months. So again, imagine it's the, uh, the Great Recession happening again, and we need to put away food for the winter time. Uh, mushrooms are something that actually allow us to store a quantity that we can eat throughout the year and to grow that in a very small space. So those are some of the highlights of why I love shiitake mushrooms so much. Check out this log right here and how much is actually coming off that one tiny little log. So let's get into how to actually grow these. All right, well, this is pretty exciting. This is why I do it all. Uh, come down and take a look at this right here. So this is what we call a log tower. And I inoculated this about eight weeks ago with oyster mushroom mycelium. And now we've got some beautiful edible and medicinal oyster mushrooms uh, growing right behind my house, just right up against the back wall. What I love about this stacked wall, or sorry, stacked tower technique, is one, it's really quick to produce a lot of mushrooms. Two, it's very little work uh, to do it. And three, you only need a small space. I mean, you could literally do this on a balcony on uh, in the city or just in any little shady nook behind your house. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut these off and throw them in the frying pan to cook up for dinner. 